This is your daily reminder that one may resist tyranny, and perhaps live, or submit to the will of tyrants, and surely die a coward's death. Which do you choose? Regardless of your answer, the demonic dragon smiles upon the hour of our meeting. This week's question is so very good that I'll brook no other. It was asked of me how one can reliably pull objects from dreams of the night into the so-called waking world, not as a void later filled, which is a fairly common technique well known and widely used amongst authentic occultists, but the thing itself manifested upon one's waking. If this ability has a mortal term, it is not known to me. So, let's call it Grim Grip. That's a pretty good name, but I think Cross Dreamscape Manifestation is more accurate. Call it whatever you please, but the phenomenon isn't terribly uncommon even amongst the sleepers. I should be surprised and skeptical to hear one comment that someone over the age of 13 hasn't ever done it. As to doing it reliably, of course it will be most useful to first master the state of power dreaming. That is, not only being aware that you are dreaming as with a lucid dream, but being able to exercise your natural infinite power within your dreams of the night. This is not terribly hard to learn, but it is probably at least the dedicated nightly work of six months to be able to do this at will. House Dracul is not really intended to teach the basics, so you will have learned this already, or will allocate time and energy to it to train yourself into more vampiric ways of being. So, you have entered a power dream with the intention of pulling an object from that dreamscape into the dreamscape that most perceive as the waking world. It is probably best to already know what you want to find or create, and then pull out of that dream. This builds form and authentic emotional expectation. Proceed through your power dream and make contact with your desired prize. Be attentive to it. Really examine what it looks like what it looks like from different angles, how it feels to touch. Is it heavy? Delicate? Take your time and check that the object is vivid and stable. This is an essential step. When you think you've gotten your object stable within the dream, and at least as vivid, and perhaps even more vivid than the so-called waking world, it is time to try cross-dreamscape manifestation. Will yourself awake, as you have probably done before, but add the intention of taking this object with you. This is why stabilization is such an important phase. You cannot fully intend to take something between dreamscapes without knowing it from everything else, without conforming totally with the law of identity. For this reason, it is best to start learning this skill with very simple objects that are not over large. When you are first learning this, it will be spotty in its successes, and success may come from happening upon a similar or identical object in this world, rather than directly pulling it from a dream of the night. For the purposes of learning, count these instances as successes also, and eagerly anticipate increasing your skills in this field. With increased experience of success, 
your reliability at this technique will improve and you will find it easier to manifest larger and more complicated objects. Of course, this cuts both ways. There are items in this world, too, and you can bring them into your dreams of the night as well. And the technique for doing this is identical. You must have a very clear understanding of the object. Know its look, feel, and wait in or under your hands. And it will be even easier to learn this if you can go to sleep holding or near the object you wish to bring in with you. If pulling things from your dreams at night is difficult for you to accept, it might make the learning process easier to start with this reverse technique. After all, nature creates few one-way doors, and where matter has transported one way, why should it not transport itself back through the same doorway? In the days when House Dracul created and sold Dreamwalker gloves, this was the intent behind them. In taking the glove from your waking world to your other dreams, one was reasonably expected to derive other dream faculties. Lucid dreaming, power dreaming, dream walking, and yes, cross-dreamscape manifestation. It should go without saying that when undertaking this practice, the same rules apply as apply to all sorcery. And the first law of the true science is that reality is democratic. If you can enter dream sharing with a trusted confederate, your results shall not be added, but squared. Since there are few such trusted confederates to be found, it is almost always best to remain silent and lie about how you came by something that you have pulled from a dream. The active disbelief and derision of the mindless human herd will negatively impact the stability and ongoing presence of what you have already pulled through, and will stunt your ability to continue performing cross-dreamscape manifestation. Be strong, be wise, be silent. And in your silence, you will possess a power that the sleeper humans could not even fathom. Would you like for us to continue our conversation along this subject or leave it be for now. Comment your preferences below if you'd be so generous. If you comment on your experiences with this in the comments below, and I would like you to, please don't tell anything that would compromise your own results. It is enough to say that you did and know that I understand and believe you, for surely, we are enough of an audience for each other.